Hi, I'm Jeremy. Um, my job is pretty much to introduce the world to sherry, and uh, I've been drinking it for about 10 years. Um, sherry is probably one of the most misunderstood drinks in the world, but now is a great time to learn about it because there is a, a huge explosion of Spanish cuisine in London and, and the rest of the UK, huge interest in Spanish culture and Spanish food, um, and sherry, because it's such an amazingly broad spectrum of drinks, there's gonna be one for everyone. So uh, first of all, we'll start with um, Fino. Uh, Fino is a wine which is uh, unique to the Sherry region, um, and it involves uh, a, a yeast called Flor, which grows on the surface of the barrel. So uh, once the wine is put into a barrel, the yeast from the, the, the grape skins uh, actually floats and forms a little fluffy duvet on top of the wine. Um, and this has the effect of protecting it from the, uh, the atmosphere um, so the wine doesn't oxidise, but it also gives it an incredibly yeasty flavour. And importantly, the yeast also eats up any of the sugar uh, and nutrients that's left in the wine to create something that's fiercely dry, probably the driest drink in the world. Um, if you were to age a Fino uh, by the coast, that would be called Manthania, but it, essentially it's the same drink um, from the same grape, which is Fal Palomino Fino. Um, this is a wine which uh, sometimes takes a little bit of getting used to, uh, because it's probably the driest thing you'll ever put in your mouth. Um, and it smells actually quite yeasty, bready, kind of a little bit like Marmite. And when you taste the wine, the first thing you notice is, is it's savoury. Most wine that we drink is fruity, it's slightly sweet. This is incredibly savoury and also absolutely bone dry. Um, it's because it doesn't have, have a lot of fruity character, because it's so dry, it's absolutely fantastic with salty snacks, uh, salty foods like olives, uh, things with vinegar like anchovies, just um, the most versatile wine. So, um, so next up uh, is a Montiardo. This is actually a, a very difficult uh, drink to understand, um, but it's simply uh, an aged Fino. If you leave Fino in the barrel um, until uh, the yeast uh, eventually eats all the sugar, then it dies. And what happens is the wine starts to oxidise. When the wine oxidises, in the same way as when you cut an apple in half, it goes brown, the wine starts to go brown. Um, but also, oxidation causes um, some fantastic flavours to develop. Um, nuts, dried fruit, kind of dried apricots and dried figs, and just gorgeous, gorgeous flavours. It's still incredibly dry. There was no sugar in the Fino, there's no sugar in the Amontillado. It's incredibly dry, but just starting to develop some really, really interesting nutty um, flavours. And it, funnily enough, because of that, it goes fantastically well with nuts, with, with hard cheese like um, Spanish manchego, aged manchego. Absolutely fantastic with a, with a Montiado sherry. So the next wine uh, is, a, is an Oloroso. Um, this wine is uh, exactly the same grape as the Finos and Amontillados, it's Palomino Fino, but if you take this wine and put it in the barrel and you add extra alcohol, just a little bit of extra alcohol, it kills all the yeast. Once the yeast has died, the wine ages in contact with the air and it goes brown because it oxidises. Um, but that oxidation gives it so, so much incredible complexity. Really sort of juicy dried fruits, uh, figs and, and apricots. So this is a wine that just goes so well with uh, Spanish ham, uh, lots of different meat dishes, pâtés, um, just a slight touch of sweetness, but still a gorgeous savoury wine that goes, chorizo would be a fantastic match with this. And now Oloroso sherry doesn't have to be dry. This is the one sherry style that you would sweeten. Um, and the, the wine is sweetened with a grape called uh, PX, which we'll come back to. Um, so when you sweeten a sherry, uh, it tends to go a bit darker, a bit browner. Um, and this is a wine that just is so luscious. It just smells of, of dried raisins and sultanas. Somebody wants to describe this as licking the top of a mahogany piano. It is incredibly sweet, but at the same time, it's like bitterness, really drying on the finish. This wine here is uh, 30 years old, so you can even smell and taste some wood on the wine. Fantastic with salty cheese like uh, Picos de Europa, but also fantastic with um, uh, chocolate desserts. So now we're on to uh, Palo Cortado. Um, this is the, uh, the great mystery amongst sherry. Um, 
and uh, lots of people will tell you that God plays with the wine to uh, create something amazing. It is pretty amazing. Um, but this Palo Cortado um, is really a very, very uh, light, the most light and elegant style of Oloroso Sherry. And in fact, if you started with um, a Fino um, grape must um, and, and turned it into an Oloroso Sherry, you would end up with a Palo Cortado. Um, just kind of almost like a Montiardo on the nose, but uh, this, is, this is just fantastic. This is a wine that goes so well with game. Um, if you're posh, it goes with foie gras. Um, but again, fantastic with cheese, nuts, um, meaty dishes. Just, I mean, this is, this is everybody's favorite Oloroso sherry. The final wine is PX, or Pedro Jimenez. PX is far easier to say. Um, this is purely a sweetening grape, really. Um, it's a grape that's harvested very, very late when it's dried on the vine and it's uh, laid out in bunches in the fields on grass mats to, to dry even further until we produce a raisin which is, which is crushed and then just uh, fermented to form this thick syrup uh, just clinging to the glass there. Probably the sweetest wine in the world, almost 50% sugar. Um, just smells of just dried raisins with a bit of licorice and coffee, absolutely incredibly intense. Unctuously sweet, really sweet. I mean, one one of the things to do with this is pour it onto ice cream, um, where uh, you know it'll wow all your friends. Um, but clearly, an absolute superstar. So we have probably the driest wine in the world, the sweetest wine in the world, and everything in between. There's pretty much a sherry for everyone.